Yo, I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys how I organize my storages in New World. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because oftentimes on stream, I'm asked, how do you manage your storage? How in the world do you manage all of the items that you accumulate? Because managing inventory in New World is and can be an absolute nightmare. About two months ago, I went through all of my storages and revamped how I organized them. And since then, my gameplay has just been completely different. It really did change my enjoyment for the game because now I can actually find my gear whenever I need it. If I'm going to run an M10 or if I'm looking for a particular item or, or reagents or whatever i know exactly where everything is save so much time effort and energy and just really enhances my gameplay experience so hopefully by making this video it will give you a little bit of inspiration as to how you can organize your inventory or uh you can just copy what i have here it works for me this may not work for you but hopefully it'll help you out a little bit so let's take a look and let's see how it is that i organize my inventory so we'll start at the very top here we'll start with brightwood as we go through these you'll begin to see a pretty clear pattern of how i actually organize things and uh, you'll get an idea of, of where this is going. So there won't be any need to go in depth with every single storage location uh, because you'll kind of get a, get a picture of what's going on here. So if we take a look at Brightwood, we'll see here, this is where I keep all of my woodworking gear. So I only have three pieces. I'm still missing a couple of pieces of woodworking gear, but this is where I keep it. Here's my woodworking gear. And then we have our logging lucky gear here. If I ever use that, I really never use that gear. But if I ever did want to go harvest and use the logging luck gear, I have it here uh, as well as all all of the raw materials that I have whenever I log. So all of my wood or the weird wood, the, the iron wood, all the iron wood planks, all of that good stuff goes into Brightwood. So every day, whenever I craft my dailies, I can just come to Brightwood. I throw on these three pieces and then I can grab out the required materials and then craft my dailies. You will also notice here that there's not any reagents because I store the reagents in another spot, which is what we're about to look at now. So if we take a look at Brimstone Sands, you can see this is where all of my reagents are stored. The reason I have all of my reagents in one specific location i found this to be so much better whenever i started doing this because whenever i use a particular place to craft and right now i'm doing all of my crafting over in brimstone so whenever i'm over there i don't have to worry about going and finding reagents anywhere they're all here so all i have to do is come over to like Br uh, brightwood pull out my stuff to craft my dailies we go to a station in brimstone and then there they are also uh whenever this starts to overflow a little bit i just sell off the excess what was happening before is i was trying to put like sandpaper for example in the applicable spot like with all my stuff in brimstone and it just became overflowed and then whenever brims or brightwood became overflowed i would have to move some sandpaper or some other items out of there just became an absolute nightmare so i found that putting all of my reagents in one spot and then using that spot as my crafting spot has worked wonders for me it's absolutely amazing and then i just usually sell off the excess if my storage gets full so now let's take a look at cleaves point so cleaves point is a little bit messy but this is the method to the madness here this is all correct corrupted gear so it's all corrupted bane or corrupted ward gear i'm working on a few different sets for corrupted right now that's why this one is a little bit messy but i do know exactly where all of my stuff is so if i'm going to run tempest or dynasty or something for example i come over here i can grab out my weapons like my corrupted bane enchanted spear if i'm running spear hatchet then i can grab out the uh, the chain arcane corrupted bane vicious hatchet and i can go to town as well as my dps gear i have my tank gear here uh and all of my corrupted stuff is just here in cleaves point so the next place we'll take a look at cutlass this is very much like brightwood only with mining i have all of my mining and smelting gear here so you'll see all of my smelter shoes and then all of my mining stuff at the bottom and then all of my raw materials for for smelting is all over here in cutlass as well as in, in cutlass you'll also notice that i have a lot of weapons i have a lot of gear here well that's because in cutlass keys there is an expedition down here in cutlass keys which is barnacles and black powder so barnacles and black powder is a lost expedition of course as you guys know so i keep all of my lost gear over here in cutlass keys that way whenever i go run that expedition all of my expedition gear is stored in the location that that expedition is located this helps me out a lot because whenever i go to pull out the gear for that specific expedition i know exactly where to look that's helped me out tremendously i also just happen to store all of my mining stuff over here because this is just where it's been forever before barnacles and black powder come into the game and this works out really well for me i know where all of that stuff is so in eastburn we'll take a look at this this is just luck 
gear. So whenever I go on luck runs, etc., I put all of my luck gear over here. I have some luck gear on right now because I just went on a reek water run, but all of my uh, luck gear is just stored in Eastburn. So anytime I go on a luck run, go to Eastburn, grab the gear out, and whenever I'm done, I put it back over here. Very easy to find. In Ebon Scale, I have Ebon Scale. I have resources that are that are kind of important resources. Then I have jewel crafting stuff, and I have moats, and then this is where I store all of my furniture. The only reason I have Arcana and jewel crafting stuff over here is just this is just where they landed, right? But now I know exactly where they are. Anytime I get some jewels or some moats or whatever, I put them all here. So they're very easy to find. I know exactly which storage they're in. I can pull them out. All of my furniture is over here as well. So whenever I go to decorate a home, etc., I just have everything over here. And then I have some of the important resources, all of my scraps, which I know I need to use some of these things. I've just been, I've been hoarding them. I, I, don't make fun of me. I know I need to use them. We'll get to it at some point, but that's how I organize uh, uh, Ebon Scale. I just put, I know what's there. We have jewel crafting. We have moats. We have uh, furniture and we have just some resources over here. So I know what's there. Everfall, this is where I keep all of my crafting stuff and my trophies. So all of my timeless shards, all of my trophies, and then all of my crafting gear, like my weapon smithing stuff, uh, my armoring stuff, my jewel crafting stuff, my engineering stuff, all goes over here in Everfall, as well as all of my craft mods, and then all of my craft patterns that we have been hoarding up forever. And then of course, like runestone stopwatches uh, go over here as well. So then if we take a look at first light, first light is going to be very similar to some other places you've seen. We have stone cutting gear over here. Uh, and then we have all of our stuff to make our dailies for, for runestone. The reason I have these particular resources here is because I was saving these to upgrade my heart gem runestone. So all of the resources I needed to upgrade my heart gem runestones, I was just throwing over here in first light. So I'd know exactly where those were whenever I went to upgrade those, those items. Once those are fully upgraded, all those will be moved out. And then we'll just have stone cutting stuff here, uh, much like other places. That's why you see the orbs and the umbrals here is because I was using those to upgrade the heart gym runestones. So then if we take a look at last stand, last stand is just a catch all for gear. I, I, I know this is a problem. I hoard a lot of named items. I'm probably never going to use these, but if I do get a decent named item, or if I get decent gear from an expedition, I put it over here in last stand. And that way, if I'm ever theory crafting a build or whatever, I can come here first before I try to go buy gear or whatever. I just have it all stored here so that whenever I need it, I can come grab it. So then we look at Monarch's Bluff. This is all Arcana stuff. We have our, our, our Arcana gear here, as well as our raw materials. Very simple. Mountain Home. This is where I store active PVP gear that I am currently using or currently uh, working on builds for. This is the active stuff that I have in play right now. So then if we take a look at Mountain Rise, this is just a catch all for the resources that are not important at all. I have some mixed up here, like my saltpeter that needs to go somewhere else. So I have to move that over to the correct location. But as you can see here, most of this stuff is like, you know, these advanced loading mechanisms, the sticky vines, the, the black powder, all of the stuff that you're, you know, we're never going to use. I, I don't even know why we have all these things, but this is where they go. I just throw them a mountain rise because one day, one day, maybe we'll get a use for this stuff and uh, maybe I'll be super rich whenever that happens. Then in Morningdale, you can start to really notice the pattern here. This is where all of our skinning stuff and leatherworking stuff is. And then of course the leatherworking raw materials. So then I can craft my dailies every day very easily there. Reek water, this is where all of our stuff for Lazarus is uh, because Lazarus is over there. So this is where I keep all of my ancient gear. I also just happen to store ammo and fishing stuff over here. This is just where I've put it uh, forever. I don't know why it's really not any particular reason. I just know it goes here and so this is where i put it now so we have our lazarus gear here though our dps gear our tank gear all of our items here so whenever i go to run laz i just pull it out of here laz is in reek water very easy for me to remember where that is uh, and where my gear is to, to run lazarus restless shore this is just all cooking stuff so anything related to cooking restless shore that's where it goes uh i have uh to burn a mercatus this is just another catch-all because last stand got full and so whenever we had new uh new storages whenever brimstone launched i just started putting them in here too so i have tons of gear to go through but it's all sorted and stored in particular locations so i know exactly where it is this stuff i don't actively use but whenever i'm putting together other builds or i need uh maybe a certain piece i come here and look in here and then of course in last stand before i go anywhere else 
Valor Hold. This is, of course, where uh, Angry Earth Expedition is. These resources were just overflow. Um, they're not supposed to be there. They're supposed to be over here in Mountain Rise where we had all of the other resources. Uh, but nonetheless, Valor Hold, this is where I keep all of my Angry Earth gear. So again, the expedition is up here in Eden Grove. There's Garden of Genesis. And so that's where we keep all of our Angry Earth gear. It just works out very nicely for me. So then we have a look at Weaver's Fin. This is just where I keep all of my potions. Anything potion related, I just store it in Weaver's Fin. This is where I keep all of my mana potions, regeneration potions, all of my ward, my, my uh, ward, my coatings, anything uh, potion related, consumables other than food goes here in Weaver's Fin. Just very easy to, for me to remember. This is just a free storage. This one came with uh, with Brimstone Sands. I'm not using it for anything currently. And then Windsward, of course, you can see this follows another theme. We have our, our weaving stuff over here. And then of course, our weaving uh, raw material sitting over here and then our gathering or harvesting gear here as well. So you can see this is just kind of how I manage my inventory. It follows a very clear uh, theme throughout. I have I have all of my gear, all of the raw materials just located in certain areas across the map. And then anytime there's an expedition in a zone, that's where I store my expedition gear. And then I have certain spots for certain other materials and I just know where those are. Not really any specific reason to store those. I just know exactly where those are stored. And then we have a spot for all of our actively used PVP gear and then any overflow gear that we're kind of hanging on to to build out uh, more fleshed out builds in the future. That's how I do it. That's how I organize my gear. This system works really well for me. Since I transitioned over to this, it took me a long time to, to kind of get this sorted out. But since I transitioned over to this, life in New World has been so much better and so much easier. I know exactly where to go. I know exactly how to pull some, pull whatever materials I'm looking for. I know exactly where they are. I go here quickly. I grab my materials, grab my gear, and then we're off and running. And then whenever I gather materials out in the world or there's stuff that I want to save and store, I know exactly where I'm going to put that. It just makes things so much easier, so much nicer. Uh, and I feel organized and my gameplay experience is much better because of that. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, let me know what your uh, storage methods are because I would love to know if you have something better or something that you use that works for you. I would love to know what works for you guys, but this is what works for me. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Maybe give you a, a little bit of inspiration or or some organizational tips. Uh, you know, if you were having a hard time figuring out how to organize your stuff, this works great for me and hopefully, uh, hopefully this will work for you. But thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe. I, that'd be amazing. It'd help me out a ton. And uh, of course, come check us out over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BDOG. We're there every Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock a.m. CST. And uh, that'll about do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next one.